What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Welcome back to another video game discussion. In this episode, I just want to do a quick discussion about this game that I'm currently playing now, which is Bioshock. I just finished beating through the entire game. Finished the first one. Final ending and everything. I just want to give some overall impressions. Kind of discuss it. Say what I like, say what I don't like. And first off, for anyone that wants to play this game and go in totally blind, let me just say real quick, spoilers. So first off, I will say, for anyone that, will, anyone that wants to collect for the Xbox 360, this is absolutely a must own title. It was made by, made and published by, uh, excuse me, developed and published by 2K released in August of 2007. They later received a couple of real releases and now there's a remastery, the Bioshock Collection for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and I think also Switch, but don't I'm not 100% certain on the Switch, so don't quote me on that. Oh boy. Okay, cool. Now, let's go over a couple of the nitpicks first that I do have. And minor, minor nitpicks here. The one is, there's times in the game where it'll give you an objective that you have to complete, or maybe you need to try to find and hunt down a little sister. And it's like, I'll have no idea where to go or what to do. And it's like, I just kind of wander around aimlessly. I guess maybe that happens with some of these, like, uh exploration style shooters which is exactly what this game is oh hey hey all right cool mind you i'm on a new game plus here so i just got all my weapons and powers now you've met andrew ryan the bloody king of rapture so like i said there'll be times i'm trying to find a little sister and they'll just be like you know have no idea where they are or how to find them and then there's other periods of time you know, you have some objective. It doesn't really exactly tell you where to go. Second, again, this is just a nitpick that I have, is randomly through the game, it'll just play like this older style music. And it's like, I think it's really cool. Like, I would have enjoyed having that music like in the game all the time, kind of in the background. I guess it's supposed to be like a 50s, 60s style. Maybe it's supposed to be based off a little earlier than that. Let's see if we can get our little security droid going here. Cool. So I kind of enjoyed like the parts where the game's playing heavily on atmosphere and you get this music going in the background. I thought that was really cool. And I kind of wish that they had done that all the time. But they didn't. Third nitpick, some of the boss fights in this game can feel really underwhelming. Like especially the final one, I was, you know, it just, it's like, I was just like, that's all? That's it? I, I was kind of disappointed after the final boss's confrontation. I was like, okay, that just seemed totally lackluster. So, you know, for a game heavy on exploration and being a first-person shooter and everything, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a challenge in some of the boss fights. And not all of them, but at least the final one, some of the later ones. So we hit this emergency switch. Goodbye. So we just blast over the shotgun. Let's go through his weapons here. Where they all at? So those are really the three major nitpicks I have. Now let's get into some of the positives here. First off, this game plays very heavily on atmosphere, and in atmosphere and story, it delivers in absolute spades. It definitely tells a unique story with a whole bunch of twists. You never quite know what's going to happen next, or what's going to be around the next major bender area. Oh my goodness, what am I even getting hit by? 
What am I even getting? Okay. Second, controls are absolutely wonderful. No complaint in there. Everything's responsive. It's a good variety of weapons and abilities you can use. Jeez. I'm gonna need to buy some more of those uh, health upgrades. Jeez, a couple of hits and I get whacked. So, like I was just saying about the story, every single time you never really know what's coming around the next bend. And it plays heavily into that style of atmosphere. Solid controls. Everything's responsive, no issues with air. Overall, the sound effects are pretty good. I mean, you know, with the weapons and everything that you use. So I don't really have any complaints. Uh, is there a first aid kit? Yeah, uh, yes, there is. So, you know, again, is it worth picking up a playing and adding your collection? I think absolutely. Unless me, you know, the only time I would say no is if you're not really a first-person shooter fan. Like, if you just don't like the genre, then, you know, this might be one to stay away from. Because, obviously, it is all in the first person the entire time. So, if you're just not a person who enjoys first-person shooters, then you probably want to stay away. But, overall, enjoyable game. I'm happy I beat it. I'll probably sit down and start playing the second one here soon. And if you'd like to see the steam style of video after I play through and beat the second one, feel free to comment below. Hope you enjoyed these. And I will get back to some new Nintendo 64 video game reviews here very soon. So thanks for watching. Until next time, everybody.